Hey, my name is Blair. Just got a question for you here. Uh, you know, how do you feel about the black community receiving reparations? I, I am I'm against that. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, why so? Well, first of all, um, what what is the black community? So, for example, do you mean like recent immigrants from Haiti or Nigeria? I do not. No. Okay, for sure. So you so you're meaning like ancestral um, descendants of slaves? Correct. That yes, could be proven with documentation. Absolutely. Right? Okay. So to be consistent, do you believe that? Other groups that have been mistreated in America should also receive reparations. Uh, other, what are those other groups? Well, they're not necessarily by America, but let's just take one. Jewish Americans, right? Okay. They almost got eliminated in the Holocaust. Should they receive reparations? Not from us. Okay, not from us. Not but, from the United States, that is. Okay. So here's my view, and I want to hear yours, okay. which is that I did not own slaves, mm -hmm. and you were not a slave. Correct. Right, so we are individuals. And therefore, we cannot be held accountable or should receive something from something that didn't happen to us or something we did not do. Uh, that is a basic law of justice, that I can't be held accountable for something that somebody looked like me did. Mm -hmm. And you should not benefit from something that somebody you were related to. Now, you'll probably say systemic racism and how that passed down to generations. Happy to address that. The problem with reparations, though, is basically what you're saying is I'm going to take money from Charlie Kirk for something he didn't do and give it to a group of something to somebody of something they also didn't do for what reason how is that just so not so much how is it just but there are those arguments that says because of what happened in the past this group of people are, have been negatively affected from this nation's uh, crimes against humanity to that certain group of people and that's how we see it or how sir how some people see it if you will okay sure but i, I will say that even if there is some truth to that, which I wouldn't even be willing to grant very much, because black America was doing incredibly well before the 19th, I mean, not incredible, they were, they were pacing to be even richer than white America, is that we must look to the question of, is it, is it just and moral to take from one group, especially first and second generation immigrants that had nothing to do with this. So think about it. Your tax base would be taxing, like if anyone here is Irish or Polish and your family came 100 years ago, we would be taxing people that had nothing to do with it. And I'll go a step further. My family fought on the union side of the Civil War. Right. So you're going to be taxing Charlie Kirk, whose descendants fought to free the slaves to go give money to people that were descended you know, from slaves. So what is a way that we could try to help all communities? Here's maybe we can find some common ground. Right. Sure, Instead of reparations sure. is that we need to break the cartel of public sector teacher unions, allow school choice to occur and make it easier for people of all backgrounds, but specifically Hispanic and black individuals and young kids to have a quality education because a good education in K through 12 is one of the most assured ways that they'll be able to succeed later in life. Secondly, we need to put fathers back in the home. Yeah, I agree with that. 70% yeah. of black kids are raised without a stable father in, this, mm -hmm. in, the, in, in the country. So if we can find common ground on that, I think that would go a lot further than just giving cash for people that happen to be related to something that, evil that happened a little while ago.